Hey there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to construct a confidence interval plot in Stata. In order to do so, we will work with a Census 13 dataset that comes pre-installed in Stata. And what that dataset is, it's just a it's collection of data on states. We have birth rate, population, median age, and some other demographic variables. What we'll do today is construct a confidence interval plot for population which is continuously distributed and in order to do that we would use the ci means command and just enter the variable we're interested in which is pop push enter and we start off with our uh, actual readout here so we see that the mean population of states is about 4.5 million and 95 percent of them will fall between 3.17 and 5.85 million what the confidence interval plot is is just a way of representing these data here in a graph. So here we see our mean right over here and we have our whiskers for the 95% span. Uh, it's, it's very simple but it's powerful in the sense that you can customize it. Uh, we can move it into an APA compliant look using the scheme S1 mono feature and then it looks like this. Uh, we can also do some pretty cool comparative stuff here. We can we can use the by command and actually look at confidence interval plots um, by region. And so we see northeast, north central, south, and west. And we see that they, they kind of all overlap here. Uh, if you ended up doing an, an, an ANOVA, for example, it's, it's likely that there might not be an effect of region on mean population. Although, of course, that's something I encourage you to try out. But you can see why this kind of graph would be helpful um, for support in that kind of comparative analysis in addition to just analyzing one variable and its distribution. Anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you. Um, confidence interval plots get, do get used. Um, they're rarely used, but I think they, they show um, a pretty high degree of understanding of data and their distribution. So I encourage everyone to try to use them where possible. 272analytics.com has an entire repository of statistics tutorials in R, Stata, SPSS, eViews, and Minitab. They're all free, and I encourage you to check them out. I would like to remind you that we are consultants. We are data consultants. We work with students on methodologies, data analysis chapters, uh, just quantitative assignments, and writing in general, with our goal being to help you understand your data help you parse it, uh, help you understand it through the code, give you readouts, give you interpretations, so that you understand it perfectly enough to be able to write an excellent chapter three, excellent chapter four, uh, be very confident in your dissertation defense and whatever your academic endeavor might be. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.